This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We are now at Nebene Supercharger. Every time I start from Nebene Supercharger, it means that we're going to drive Tesla. So behind me here, I have Marcus Yule. Marcus, he has Marcus Biel, Marcus Yule. What is the next thing? Marcus Meatballs, maybe? <laughs> well, okay. Anyway, so this is a Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus from China with LFP batteries. And uh, I'm going to do range test now in the cold weather. We have, let me see, I'm just going to bring up the, the flashlight. In cold weather, you see we have Frigus EV winter tires from Mega Yule. They are 235, 45, 18, same for the back. So, and also some uh, socks. Uh, this is uh, third party rims. Yeah. So you see, this time we have aftermarket rims, but still 18 inch. Uh, other than that, actually, this time I'm not cheating with, uh, with the, what do you call it, uh, the sunshade uh, thing here. You see, we just use the bare glass. I preheated the car, came over here. Um, you can see the stats here. I will explain what all these numbers mean. It's a bit overwhelming, maybe. Still the charge, voltage, okay, not too interesting. We're actually here, we're pulling one kilowatt, roughly. Well, actually, a little bit less than, oh, look at that. Octawall for the win. <laughs> Max, teacher. okay, well, let's, there, there, there. We're 190 kilo. No, no, I think this is incorrect if we hammer it. This number, since some software version on the car, has been reporting wrong number. Uh, the, the the actual kilowatt hour the, the actual kilowatt we get when we floor it is usually 30 percent higher than this so we have around 220 something I think kilowatt power um, all right here we see some torque numbers but um, huh max region power okay keeps keeps dropping hmm okay but this is one Cell temp, 27 degrees Celsius, battery inlet. Oh, it's it's scavenging heat from the battery. Um, yeah, this is what happens. It sucks some heat from the battery to help heat up the cabin. That's why the, the power draw here is so low while we're consuming, uh, yeah. But okay, anyway, uh, you want to see something here also that outside temperature is there, 2.5 degrees Celsius. So it's cold and it's wet and in summer, I managed to get 118 watt hour per kilometer. So the plan now is that, okay, we're not going to drive the full length. It's already seven in the evening. We're going to drive to Espa and back again. According to the car, it's, uh, it's a 60 kilometer round trip. So I'm going to reset. Well, we can just, yeah. I'm going to reset this one. And then we will do 90 test first. We are on the move now. So we have to cruise at 92. Two. I'm not sure, 92 or 93, because it, you see, it jumps between 90 and 89. Uh, okay, maybe 93 then. Okay, let's go increase to 93. Let's see what happens then. Uh, and then, then it jumps between 90 and 91. Uh, okay, whatever. Let's go 93. All right. Consumption so far, yeah, we have to wait a little bit until it stabilizes. What? Whoa, over here, whoa, over here it's, it's one degree Celsius. This guy, my Tesla shows 0.5, uh, a half degree only. All right, this is, uh, I guess, uh, proper cold winter for many places through Europe. Maybe not in Finnmark, but at least Deutschland, Frank uh, 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 France. Yeah, uh, Netherlands. I guess you guys have one degree Celsius in winter, right? You don't have minus 20, do you? <laughs> wow, this is so cool. Huh? There's some fog. We have a light pollution, but where's this interesting, well, uh, interesting atmosphere? Hmm. Well, this is, uh, yeah. Uh, at least I've shown you guys now, we have wet roads, maybe a slight rain also, or I don't know. But there's uh, plenty of moisture on the road, but not soaking wet. But typical uh, Norwegian uh, winter weather. We are now heading back south again. Whoa, 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 whoa,
remember all. Okay, but over here it's a bit dry. So okay, I didn't get a full wet run. So, but okay. Anyway, hey, hey, yo, what's up? <laughs> okay, but you see, right now uh, consumption is 144. Wow, man, this thing is efficient. Yeah, let's see here. There you go, Model Three. Stand. Oh, okay, it's called Standard Plus. Right? When, when did they remove the range part? Hmm. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, get back to uh, Nebenes. Round one, 150 watt hour per kilometer. Uh, the temperature was actually yeah. So the temperature was one degree, not three degrees that I first saw. So okay, we have 42 percent left. 42 is the answer, and the battery has been scavenged a little bit. Yeah, okay, I think we, it, this wasn't a big, too big advantage. So, all right, now we do 120 test, same route. We are doing the high speed run now. So, um, oh, it's a bit loud over here, it's a bit noisy, but okay. Anyway, I have to cruise 123 kilometers per hour. So, you know, from time to time, people ask me, hey Bjorn, which system is the best for auto steer? While well, you're looking at it right now, Tesla Autopilot is just mind-blowingly good. It's super confident. Uh, it doesn't go over the lines, left or right. It just stays in here, locks in place. Even if it's raining outside, dark, no problem. <laughs> Again, many times I can't even see the road, but the Autopilot is just driving for me. It's just simply amazing. Okay, now I'm gonna turn back. Oh, we're back in Nemenes now. So, if you look at the result now, uh, in the 90 test in summer, it was way better than now. So the consumption increase was actually 30% now. Maybe because there is a constant uh, rolling, well, maybe no, no friction or rolling, yeah, resic, I don't think rolling resistance is the correct uh, term here, but because of wet roads. Uh, but okay, and then in the 120 test, you see that the increase is only 20%. So that means practically that the range is then reduced by 20 to 30%, depending on uh, yeah, how it is. So yes, I guess uh, for Norwegians though, that's bad because you get a 30% reduction. But okay, this is it. Um, this is one case. Of course, I also tried last year with the Octoval when it was really cold, minus 30, minus 20, 30 degrees. And then I don't remember how it was, but at least now you see how it is. Uh, I think actually in, on general basis, wet roads will actually reduce the range almost more than dry road and really cold weather. So yeah, now you guys have seen it. Um, interesting, uh, but the uh, holy sh the battery is a little bit cold now. This is LFP battery and it's charging slow. Oof. I'm gonna do some more tests tomorrow to see what happens when we let the battery soak down and then we see <laughs> how bad it is. Okay, anyway, I think that's gonna be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.